It's strong. It can grow up to a metre a day. It needs little water and few pesticides. It's technically a grass, but sequesters far more carbon than a timber forest. Bamboo is hailed as a green material source, but what happens when you take something strong, durable and hard like this and turn it into something soft that you can wear against your skin? Can you still call it green? In regard to eco-credentials, Fashion has a problem as it's set up currently. It is about fast turnover. It's actually about new look, change, new look, change. And eco-credentials are a small part of that. But the fashion industry is now catching on. Green is the new black. And bamboo fabric is part of this new vogue. People are looking strongly for different fibres and quite a few have come forward. Bamboo has been one of the more recent ones and people are looking at it in regard to its properties. So this particular fabric is bamboo fabric? That's right. Because it's this fineness, it probably means that it will be able to absorb water. Alternatively, it may be one of those fibres that you can actually breathe through. I can see from the feel why this would be so appealing because it is really very soft against the skin. Well, the softness is definitely a selling point. I thought bamboo was a great fabric straight away because to the eye it looks amazing, it drapes perfectly and it's incredibly soft. Uh, all these qualities is what you want when you're trying to design a luxury brand. The eco-credentials of bamboo as a raw material are a strong selling point. But as Alex Trimmer found out, once it's turned into a fabric, these claims can be hard to sustain. People sort of go a bit quiet when you start asking questions about the production process of bamboo. Uh, they usually don't know too much, or they don't want to tell you too much. And that's where I s instantly say no to something, is when they can't provide clear answers to it. And that's where scientists like Tara Afrin can lend a hand. As a Bangladeshi, I have seen bamboo as a food in medicine, in construction, in architecture. And that makes me interested in bamboo from my childhood. A few years ago, I realised bamboo has started to enter into the textile sector with some attractive levels attached with it, such as green, natural antibacterial, UV blocking, instant moisture evaporation. Tara decided to focus her research on bamboo fabric. So this is the bamboo fabric that you tested? Yes, this is bamboo viscose that we have sourced from China and this kind of fabric is available in Australian market. And this is the fibre, the bamboo oh. viscose fibre. I can see why it's popular because it is quite silky and soft, isn't it? It is. What Tara found out was that most of the bamboo fabric available in Australia is in fact viscose. Looking into the structure, I realised they are nothing but viscose, which is prepared in a non-eco-friendly manner. Viscose is produced by taking a cellulose source, most commonly wood chips, which is then dissolved in sodium hydroxide and carbon disulfide. This solution is pushed into threads through a device like a shower head. The fibres are drawn out through an acid bath that makes them go hard producing a viscose fibre ready for spinning. In viscose production method, we are mainly concerned about carbon disulfide. It is highly toxic and really bad for workers' health. They are dissolving bamboo in those harmful chemicals. So it seems bamboo fabric isn't as green as we've been led to believe. But what of the claims of the material's unique properties? we found the UV blocking property and antibacterial property of the commercial bamboo fibre that is basically viscose is missing. That means their claims, they are not true. The good news is Tara believes she's come up with an alternative method for processing bamboo fibre. We are using mechanical process with the aid of bioenzymes and less harmful chemicals with less water, less energy to get our bamboo fibres. 
I'm looking forward to get natural bamboo fabric. 100% eco-friendly, 100% green, with all the unique properties of bamboo present in it, into the market. Yeah, I think a consumer at the end of the day really wants to know what they're wearing, and so I think the more scientific research I have as a designer, it allows me to provide a product which I believe is in line with what a consumer wants. Fibre choices aside, the big environmental challenge facing fashion is the sheer amount of the stuff that we buy, consume and throw away each year. Maybe for the Eureka Awards this year, I'll recycle a bridesmaid dress. What do you think? <laughs>